Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we're back with some more block... Well, not some more, but another Block Fortress weapon review. Apologies if you can hear the fan in the background. I just turned it on silent, so hopefully it should be cooling down a little bit. Ah, there we go. I can hear it right now. Anyways, today, we're not... first off, we got to take a look at the weapon that we're going to use, and I believe... If I got this correct, the next one that I have is the minigun. A rapid-firing weapon capable of blowing most enemies to bits. Has a damage of 30 to 40, range of 30 blocks, low piercing, rate of fire 9, 9 shots per second, with 200 as a capacity, and 12 seconds reload. Now, I believe I do have a yes, so... Yeah, the weapon is not very accurate, and the damage I do have a 100% increase, so I believe it normally does 15 to 20 damage. So, obviously, boosting up the damage on a weapon that just is meant to just spray fire everywhere, sort of pretty effective. And it's one, as you can see, definitely one of my favorites and a personal pick for mine. So, here we go. We're going to go. We are going to go ahead and play. And test this weapon out. Now, I'm probably only going to do one test of it, just because it, we're not really going to... Not really going to be uh, using it. Well, you're not going to use it early game. You're going to use this more around the late game. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that. So that we can buy the plat... Not the plasma weapons, but the minigun. And I'll equip it alongside of shotgun and grenade launcher, which we've already covered. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to... There we go. when you, uh... Go ahead and go into one more round. Alright, I'm got it. Uh, those guys are not, hit. they are deadly, just not really deadly to you. When, when we go through all the enemies, you'll, you'll eventually see that. I forgot knights are normally pretty slow. I know on this night there are, are going to be... Oh, we lost a turret. I thought I never had that turret there to begin with. 
This is a particular night that we're going to have a lot of enemies swarming at a single flank. So, we'll be able to really show off the minigun. In case that wasn't a good demonstration of what... Oh, here we go. Just eat up all these guys, too. Honestly, one of the better weapons for large, large amounts of crowd control. Easily able to eat up just about every enemy. That's what I look like in third person with this weapon. I think there might be one final wave, or maybe not. Nope, that's it. And that's all she wrote for this little weapons demonstration. Now on to what mods I would recommend putting on this, or specifically which mods can I put on this. So I'm just going to quickly check a damage, okay, yeah. I'll temporarily get rid of the damage one so that we can see all the mods. So, as you saw, damage and accuracy are two mods you can get. You can get range, armor piercing, ammo, reload, and everybody. my personal favorite, not really, tactical light. So, which ones do I recommend? I highly recommend getting damage and possibly a bit of range. Uh, damage is obvious. You increase the weapon's damage, and being that it has a lot of ammo... It has a really good rate, a really fast rate of fire, and, well, you could just essentially move your screen back and forth to get everybody in range, yeah, more bullets to the, well, damage is always a good choice, probably, the, especially for the, in the case of this weapon. Uh, range, you can, you, you can afford to get some range weapon, hit some range to this, I'd say maybe two range mods would be really good, four damage, two range. Uh, I tried the accuracy out. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do. I assume it just increases the weapon's accuracy, so when it's firing, the bullets aren't flying everywhere. But if you're, if you're using it as a crowd control weapon, I, I don't know if it's bad accuracy is exactly a poor thing. If you're single firing, on the other hand, then yes, it's a, you'll want to get accuracy to make sure that you narrow down the spread of the shots around. But if you're going for a large target area, I'd say you're fine without accuracy. It, it ultimately depends on what you want to use this weapon for. Uh, armor piercing, I, I'd say I could justify one level of armor piercing, bring it up to medium, maybe two if you weren't to, if you didn't want any accuracy. I got one on there. I think that was more of a tester though. So, all right. Uh, one of armor piercing, maybe two. Ammo, yeah, I'd say go ahead, get ammo. Um, how much? 50% is okay. If you go another 50%, so two ammo mods, you got four damage. Two range, you're at eight. I believe these weapons can go up to 12. Got, let's say, one accuracy and one armor piercing. That's 10 of your slots, and then you can use the other two in reload time or you can increase the armor piercing or the accuracy. I would definitely recommend decreasing the reload time though. 12 seconds is a bit of a long time to wait, but if you decrease it by 30%, so you say waiting approximately, I think about 8.3 seconds, if my math is, math is correct, that's, that's a, obviously a lot better. And of course, tactical light, don't ever get that. I don't even know why this is an option to get it. I really don't. Anyways, that's going to conclude for today's weapon review. Sorry, it's a bit of a shorter one. I don't really have too much to go on. Oh, yeah, my overall opinion on the minigun as I put off my damage mod. Um, really good weapon. Uh, it, it, 
quite literally, it, it, it's exactly how the his description is. Very rapid fire, and you can mow down a ton of enemies at once. So, recommendation, I'd say definitely get it. It's one of the better weapons in the game, and you'll definitely have fun with it. Just maybe doing a bit of an evil laugh. It's similar to how I would use a plasma rifle with it, a plasma rifle upgraded with the energy core. Just essentially, point and spray all around, and it's got, well, it's got more damage and about the same range. Would I prefer the minigun over the plasma rifle? I would actually say yes, because the minigun has one thing that the plasma rifle, or yes, plasma rifle, I did say that right, that, the, that it doesn't have, and that the minigun doesn't destroy blocks. So a plasma rifle could eventually terraform the field, and that might not be a good thing. I mean, if you if that's your goal, just to change how, how the field of battle works, and absolutely, but personally, I, I like keep, keeping it as clean of a battlefield as I can, so I personally like the minigun. It's up to you. I'd say go either or on the plasma rifle or minigun. It's just minigun, you would definitely want this if you wanted to, say, focus fire on a certain enemy. And I believe that that's another thing that the minigun has over the plasma rifle. It's, it's a better choice to focus fire on an enemy, so... That's going to be it for this review. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. Next time, we're going to be covering the final plasma weapon. I'm going to end up covering the cryo gun and another weapon. I think I'm going to end up covering cryo, gravity, and shrink gun because most of them are, all three of them are more support weapons in a separate video. So that's why I haven't, that's why I skipped over it. But we will be covering this boy here, the heavy plasma. And I've got quite a bit to say on this. So till then, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy.